Hello everyone and welcome to the Holy Redeemer High School 2019-2020 Athletic Awards Ceremony. Before we get into each individual team, we would like to acknowledge what the varsity letters and captains and symbols that you will see during the slide presentation will mean. Um, we'd also like to thank all of our head coaches, assistant coaches, volunteers, parents, guardians, and other family members for your support of our student athletes and our athletic teams. Thank you to Arden Fahey, Jerry Polakonis, Steve Doziak, Jim Stores for your helps with our playing services. And thank you to our administration and staff of Holy Redeemer High School for your help and support of our student athletes and athletic programs. First up will be our fall sports teams. First up, we have our cheerleading team. Our coaches are Lauren Gonzalez, Brianna Dunsmere, and Leah Cantwell. Um, a little quote from our head coach. Uh, she would like to say, girls, thanks for a memorable season. You girls are definitely strong women. To our seniors, good luck on all of your future endeavors. Love Coach Lauren, Coach Brianna, and Coach Leah. Now for our cheerleading award winners. This year's Junior Varsity Cheerleading Award goes to Lily Wickheiser. And this year's Varsity Cheerleading Award goes to Julia Finook. Congratulations. Next up, we have our Boys Varsity Cross Country Team. Head coach is Nick Capassi. His assistants are David Lewandowski and Adam Kurwaski. He would like to say, sometimes the best of efforts do not yield the best results but there is honor in that. Thank you for a great season and good luck to my seniors in the future. This year's Boys Cross Country Award winners. The Workhorse Award goes to Robert Sedlak. The Ed Roman Award for Excellence goes to Nicholas Peekle. And the Best in Battle Award goes to Christopher Hine. Congratulations. Next, we have our girls varsity cross country team, head coach, Mr. Nick Capassi. His assistants are David Lewandowski and Adam Karwaski. And he would like to say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thank you for a great season and good luck to my seniors in the future. Now for our girls cross country award winners, this year's Silent Hunter Award winner is Emily Lehman. The Fabulous Freshman Award goes to Lexi Marcinkowski, and the MVP Award goes to Cameron Marcinkowski. Congratulations. Next up, we have our JV and varsity field hockey team with coaches Hannah Beach and Kelsey Drazda, and they would like to say, Holy Deemer field hockey had a big comeback season this year, making our way back into playoffs and finishing fourth in the Wyoming Valley Conference. We were 9-5 and five in the league and 10-9 and nine overall with key victories over Hazleton, Dallas, and Wilkes-Barre. We had a really close-knit team who worked very hard together. All of their hard work paid off, and it was a great season. Congratulations to our seniors, and good luck. Now for the Field Hockey Awards. This year's JV Coaches Award goes to Mia Fino. The Varsity Hustle Award goes to Lauren Kane. The Defensive Player of the Year Award goes to Meredith Baird. And the Offensive Player of the Year Award goes to Addison Belsky. Congratulations. Next up, we have our football team. Head coach is Tyson Kelly. And his assistants are Don Flynn, Mike Conway, Daryl Boych, Bill Pekarovsky, and Father Alex Roach. And he would like to say to everyone, even though our season didn't go as well as we hoped, I cannot thank our senior class enough. Through their commitment, character, and leadership, they successfully laid a strong foundation for the future success of the football program. Good luck. This year's football awards. The most improved player award goes to Alex Hitchkowski. The leadership award goes to Ryan Williams. And the most valuable player award goes to Colin Conway. Congratulations. Next, we have our JV and varsity golf teams. Our head varsity coach is Art Brun Jr. 
and our JV coach is John Spencer. And our Brum would like to say, I'm very proud of this team. As a team, we came, we had to come together after the passing of one of our team mothers, Mrs. Wallace. And I cannot be more proud of how they came together to help their teammates and friends during this difficult time. Thank you to my seniors. Now for our golf awards. This year's Boys JV Award winner is Matthew Carty. The Girls JV Award winner is Ireland Carnes. Our Varsity Coaches Award goes to Sean Boland. And our Most Valuable Player Award goes to Martin Pryan. Congratulations. Next, we have our Boys Soccer Team. Head coach is Mike Davitt, and his assistant is Robert Dockerty. He would like to say, the 2019 boys soccer season had two seasons within one. The first half of the season seemed like the team could not come together and play at a consistent pace. After a few conversations and a change in formation, the second half of the season was excellent. The boys were one of the teams no one in the district wanted to play. With nine starters returning in the fall, the boys set a foundation for an exciting 2020 season. Go Royals! Now for our boys soccer awards. This year's JV Most Improved Player Award goes to William Wolfgang. The Varsity Most Dependable Award goes to Connor Payne. The Most Improved Award goes to Anthony Strish. And the Most Valuable Player Award goes to Lance McGrain. Congratulations. Next up, we have our girls soccer team. Head coach is Shayna Doherty, and her assistant coach is Alyssa Shaver. She would like to say, our past season together was truly special. This team is made up of girls who are kind, compassionate, brave, and strong. Together we formed a family that made Holy Redeemer history. Thank you to our four seniors, Annie, Casey, Carly, and Olivia, for their hard work and dedication to the program. And we wish you the best in, the in your future endeavors. Know that you always have a home here, and we will continue cheering on and supporting the four of you. To our underclassmen, we can't wait to be back with you all again soon. Love, Coach Shayna and Coach Alyssa. Now for our awards. The Defensive Player of the Year Award goes to Carly Cavanaugh. The Offensive Player of the Year Award goes to Casey Danko. And the Most Valuable Player Award goes to Annie Bagnall. Congratulations. Next, we have our girls tennis team. Head coach is Joe Sahusky, and he would like to say, girls, thanks for a really great season. The team really stepped up to have a great record. You worked hard and deserve a lot of credit. Congratulations. Now for the awards. The most improved player award goes to Sonal Garg. The coaches award goes to Cassandra Benderavich. And the most valuable player award goes to Tia Amaris. Congratulations. Next up, we have our girls volleyball program. Head coach is John Kablick, and his assistants are Jeff Kablick, Bob Shaleski, Jeff Griswold, John Tomkowski, Matt Adler, Dominic Adamic, and Tom Kravulski. He would like to say, this team was the epitome of what can be accomplished with by total dedication, being receptive to fixing any technical flaws and showing the utmost respect to your coaches, resulting in our 12th league championship and 14th consecutive district title, led by our seniors, Amanda Armstrong, Jillian Foley, Abby Lipinski, and Livia Moore. Congratulations. And now for our awards. The JV Most Valuable Player Award goes to Sierra Hines. The Most Dedicated Award goes to Sydney Rush. The Offensive Player of the Year Award goes to Abigail Lipinski. And the Most Valuable Player Award goes to Livia more. Congratulations. Now we move into our winter sports teams. First, we have our boys freshman basketball team, head coach Ralph Poinkowski and assistant coach Matt Poinkowski. And they would like to say, hard work, fundamentals, team mentality, intestinal fortitude, and pride were the values shared and practiced each day by our Royal athletes. These young men practiced and played like champions. They never gave up when facing a challenge while respecting the game when winning. 
I am proud to be their coach. Congrats, boys. And the Freshman Boys Perseverance Award winner is Jeffrey Kozerski. Congratulations. Next up, we have our boys JV and varsity boys basketball programs. Head coach is Paul Guido. And assistant coaches are Tom Layton Jr. and Will Miller. He would like to say, this year's Holy Redeemer basketball team has a lot to be proud of. We played a very fun, very challenging schedule. We dealt with adversity early in the season and fought through it to find great success on the other side. Our team won 19 games and a District 2 championship. We had advanced to the second round of states before bowing out to one of the best teams in the state just before the pandemic canceled the rest of the season. We did all these things together in our own distinct way. Special thanks to Jared, our only senior, for displaying the talent, heart, and leadership we all knew he had. Jared leaves our program in a much better place than when he got here, and we owe him everything for that. More great days are in the future of our program, and myself and my staff look forward to continue playing in front of the best student section ever, the Red Sea. Now for our awards. The JV Most Valuable Player Award goes to Josh Kester. The Varsity Coaches Award goes to Mason Mendegral. The Most Valuable Player Award goes to Jared Klinkowski. And the Player of the Year Award goes to Justice Schultz. Congratulations. Next up, we have our girls freshman basketball team. Head coach is Katie Nealon. And she would like to say, it was a fun freshman season. There were a lot of learning points and I cannot wait to see these girls play at the next level. When we went on runs or make crazy shots, they would all smile, cheer each other on and have fun. You can tell in those moments they were having a good time and that's what it's all about. They battled in tough games and completed the season with a winning record in the end. Congratulations, girls. This year's Freshman Girls Basketball Coaches Award goes to Paige Skibitsky. Congratulations. Next up, we have our girls JV and varsity basketball teams. Head coach is John Jaworski. His assistants are Shayna Dockerty, Justin Carney, Katie Nealon, and Emily Earhart. He would like to say, we are very proud of this year's team who always gave their best and continue to make improvements. We want to thank our players, parents, and fans for always following the Royal Way. To the seniors, we wish you the best. Your leadership, responsibility, and accountability will truly be missed. Coaching staff sends their best wishes to you for your continued success. We are looking forward to continuing the Royal Legacy with next year's team. God bless. Now for this, now for this year's awards. The JV Most Valuable Player Award goes to Jillian Del Balso. The Varsity Coaches Award goes to Alicia Pekarovsky. The Most Valuable Player Award goes to Livia Moore. And the Most Outstanding Player Award goes to Samantha Yencha. Congratulations. Next up, we have our boys swimming and diving team. Head coach is Jim Blom. And assistant coach is Beth Mangan. We would like to say congratulations to the only senior on the team, Matt Din. And now for the awards. This year's Unsung Hero Award goes to Eric Boyd. The Coaches Award goes to Adam Smith. And the Most Valuable Swimmer Award goes to Chris Shell. Congratulations. Next up, we have our girls swimming and diving team. Head coach is Jim Blom. Assistant coach is Beth Mangan. We would like to say congratulations to our four girls seniors. Now for our awards. This year's Unsung Hero Award goes to Caitlin Blom. The Coaches Award goes to Olivia Murray. And the Most Valuable Summer Award goes to Margaret Walting. Congratulations. Now for our spring sports teams. Although the season did not play out as we would have liked, we are still here to honor our spring athletes as best as we can. Awards have been awarded based on careers instead of their abbreviated season we all had. And all varsity spring student athletes will be awarded a varsity letter for this season. First up, we have our freshman baseball team. Head coach is Gary Miller, and assistant coach is Kevin Miller. Kevin. 
This year's Freshman Baseball Dedication Award winner is John Matlock. Congratulations. Next up, we have our varsity baseball team. Head coach is Chris Ritzik, and his message for everyone. Unfortunately, this is not the baseball season we are looking forward to this school year. But I do want you guys to know how much I appreciate your hard work and dedication during the offseason. While the season never came to fruition, it was good to see you all come together as a team during the offseason. Your hard work and dedication will pay off in the long run. To my seniors, I wish you the best of luck in the future. It was a pleasure coaching you through the years. To my underclassmen, keep up the hard work. Before you know it, normalcy will return and we will begin a new journey together. I want to thank the parents for their sacrifices for the baseball program and to my assistant coaches for all their time, dedication, and patience. This year's Varsity Baseball Perseverance Award winners are Colin Conway, Martin Cryan, Jacob Gibbon, Sam Oley, Dalton Preston, Jacob Roguski, Peter Shea, Mickey Ticha, Ryan Williams, and Carl Yastrzemski. Congratulations. Next, we have our boys lacrosse team. Head coach is Jake Kakowski. And his quote, starting fresh means putting in more work than other teams, but it doesn't stop there. The commitment to success and determination to persevere is why this team was built for success. Now for this year's boys lacrosse awards. This year's most improved award goes to John Wayne Kravitz. The Leadership Award goes to Kyle Castle. And the Underclassman Most Valuable Player Award goes to Joshua Wesneski. Congratulations. Next, we have our girls lacrosse team. Head coach is Sam Fox. And this year's team, the Most Dedicated Award winner goes to Vienna Hinmarsh. Congratulations. Next up, we have our varsity softball team. Head coach is Jerry Paloconis. And his quote is, the only player you should try to be better than is the player you were yesterday. This year's varsity softball Perseverance Award winners are Meredith Baird, Ashante Leon, and Alicia Pekarovsky. Congratulations. Next up, we have our boys tennis team. Head coach is Joe Sahusky. And his quote, thanks for a great two weeks of practice. It would have been great to see what we could have accomplished. Good luck. This year's boys tennis award winners are, the most improved award goes to William Wolfgang. The coaches award goes to Matthew Schuler. And the Most Valuable Player Award goes to Brandon Gabenis. Congratulations. Next up, we have our boys track and field team. Head coach is Kevin Walters. And his quote, Never in a million years did I see our season being canceled for a worldwide pandemic. The situation really makes you appreciate the time you have with friends, family, and loved ones. Our goals this season have not been canceled, just postponed to 2021. And I look forward to getting together with you all and making it happen. Your hard work, dedication, and commitment to your schoolwork and athletics doesn't go unnoticed. And I wish you all the very best until we meet again. Now for this year's Boys Track and Field Awards. This year's Dedication Award goes to Joseph Delaney. The Leadership Award goes to Nicholas Peekle. And the Best Boys Distance Award goes to Chris Hine. Congratulations. Now for our girls track and field team, head coach is Kevin Walters and a continuation of his quote. To our seniors, at this point, we have said all we can say about this year. The only thing left to do is go forth and do amazing things. Be good, be safe, and never forget your track and field family will always be there for you. Congratulations. Now for this year's award winners. The Perseverance Award goes to Destiny Andes. The Shecky Perlman Award goes to Caden Fahey. The Best Female Distance Runner 
goes to Cameron Marcinkowski. The Leadership Award goes to Anna Capassi. The Dedication Award goes to Carly Cavanaugh. The Nerves of Steel Award goes to Abigail Lipinski. The Thrower's Award goes to Lauren Mullery. And the Best Female Sprinter Award goes to Carissa Spade. Congratulations. Next up, we have our boys volleyball team. Head coach is John Kavlik. And his quote, first of all, a respectful goodbye to our three seniors. We had a very realistic possibility to be the most memorable team in Holy Redeemer volleyball history. Much success to our three seniors, Luigi, Nate, and Jared. I can't wait to go after the same goals next year with our returning players. And now for our Boys Volleyball Awards. The Junior Varsity Coaches Award goes to Daniel Marinelli. The Defensive Player of the Year Award goes to Nate Rappel. The Leadership Award goes to Luigi Romano. And the Most Valuable Player Award goes to Jared Poinkowski. Congratulations. Now we would like to honor our junior high sports teams from the fall season. First, we have our cross-country team with head coach Nick Capassi. His most valuable male runner went to Aiden McDonald, and his most valuable female runner went to Frankie Basilia. Next, we have our field hockey team. Head coach is Tony Grissetto, and the coach's award this year goes to Hannah Jones. Now for our junior high golf team, head coach John Spencer. And this year's Coach's Award goes to Nick Werner. And lastly, we have our Junior High Soccer Team. Head coach is A.J. Evanoski. This year's Most Valuable Male Player is Mark Atherton. And this year's Most Valuable Female award Player is Isabella Grantee. Congratulations. Next, we would like to spotlight our Senior Athletes with our Senior Athletic Awards. Congratulations to all of our seniors who competed for our athletic teams during their time as Holy Redeemer Royals. A special congratulations to all of our Senior Athletic Award nominees. The administration had a difficult time determining the award recipients based on their incredible profiles. And even though not every senior nominated will receive an award, be aware that we are all incredibly proud of your accomplishments. The Teamwork in Christ Award is given to the Holy Redeemer student athletes who combine religious service and athletic accomplishments. This includes contributions to their church, parish, and other diocese functions, as well as excelling on the athletic field. We have six seniors who will receive this award. Our first Teamwork in Christ Award recipient is Jacob Brennan. Jacob will attend Penn State University College Park in the College of Health and Human Development next year. Congratulations, Jacob. Our next recipient is Martin Pryan. In the fall, Martin will attend Penn State University College Park where he will continue major in accounting or finance. Congratulations, Martin. Our next recipient is Cameron Marcinkowski. In the fall, Cameron will attend Misericordia University while she will major in nursing and continue her cross-country and track and field careers. Congratulations, Cameron. Our next award recipient is Lauren Mullery. In the fall, Lauren will attend Lock Haven University to major in education and continue her field hockey career. Congratulations, Lauren. Our next award recipient is Alicia Pekarovsky. In the fall, Alicia will attend King's College where she will pursue a degree in chemical engineering and continue on to the University of Notre Dame. Congratulations, Alicia. Our next award recipient is Carl Yastrzemski. In the fall, Carl will attend King's College where he will major in accounting and continue his baseball career. Congratulations, The Holy Redeemer Perseverance Award is given to Holy Redeemer student athletes who have overcome adversity in some form while still excelling on the athletic field. 
we have four seniors who will receive this award. Our first Holy Redeemer Perseverance Award winner is Ethan Segelka. In the fall, Ethan will attend Penn State University College Park and major in computer science. Congratulations, Ethan. Our next award recipient is Casey Danko. In the fall, Casey will attend King's College where she will major in mathematics with a minor in education and she will continue her soccer career. Congratulations, Casey. Our next award recipient is Livia Moore. In the fall, Livia will attend Bloomsburg University where she will major in psychology and continue her volleyball career. Congratulations, Livia. Our next award recipient is Dalton Preston. In the fall, Dalton will attend Drexel University where he will study civil engineering and play club baseball. Congratulations, Dalton. The Royal Leadership and Athletics Award is given to Holy Redeemer student athletes who provide leadership on the field in the classroom and in their community. This includes being named a team captain, being involved in student leadership and other community leadership roles while continuing to excel, excel on the athletics field. We have six seniors who will receive this award. The first Holy Redeemer Royal Leadership and Athletics Award winner is Annie Bagnall. In the fall, Annie will attend Siena College, where she will major in nutrition and continue her soccer career. Congratulations, Annie. Our next award recipient is Meredith Baird. In the fall, Meredith will attend Allegheny College to major in international business and minor in Spanish while continuing her field hockey career. Congratulations, Meredith. Our next award recipient is Carly Cavanaugh. In the fall, Carly will attend Misericordia University where she will continue her soccer career. Congratulations, Carly. Our next award recipient is Colin Conway. In the fall, Colin will attend Moravian College where he will enter as an undeclared major and continue his football career. Congratulations, Colin. Our next award recipient is James Dunleavy. In the fall, James will attend Penn State University College Park where he will study finance. Congratulations, James. Our next award recipient is Ryan Williams. In the fall, Ryan will attend Penn State University College Park and study finance. Congratulations, Ryan. PIAA Scholar Athlete Award is given to a high school, a high ranking student athlete who excels in the classroom and also on the athletic field. This award represents the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association and focuses on athletic achievement and academic accomplishments. This award is given to one male and one female student athlete. This year's male PIAA Scholar Athlete Award winner is Nicholas Peekle. In the fall, Nicholas will attend Lehigh University to major in civil and environmental engineering and walk on for the cross country and track and field teams. Congratulations, Nicholas. This year's female PIAA Scholar Athlete Award winner is Abigail Lipinski. In the fall, Abigail will attend Penn State University College Park to study nursing and go to graduate school and become a pediatric oncology nurse practitioner. Congratulations, Abigail. The Royal Scholar Athlete Award is given to a student athlete who excels in the classroom and also on the athletic field. The highest ranking student who incorporates athletic accomplishments into their outstanding resume. This award is given to one male and one female student athlete. This year's Male Royal Scholar Athlete Award recipient is Sean Boland. In the fall, Sean will attend Syracuse University 
where he will major in sports analytics. Congratulations, Sean. This year's Royal Scholar Athlete Award female winner is Margaret Walting. In the fall, Margaret will attend the College of Holy Cross to major in political science and continue her swimming career. Congratulations, Margaret. The Royal Athlete Award is given to a Holy Redeemer student who epitomizes what it means to be a Holy Redeemer Royal Athlete. They are the top all-around athlete with major contributions to their team in the league, district, and state, and in great standing with Holy Redeemer High School. This award is given to one male and one female student athlete. This year's Male Royal Athlete Award winner is Jared Poinkowski. In the fall, Jared will attend King's College to major in finance and continue his volleyball career. Congratulations, Jared. Our female Royal Athlete Award winner is Samantha Yencha. In the fall, Sam will attend Jefferson University to major in biopsychology and continue her basketball career. Congratulations, Samantha. This concludes the 2019-2020 Holy Redeemer Athletic Awards Ceremony. Thank you, everyone, and remember, you will always be royals.